Hello and welcome back to Everything Gaming and today we are going to go through this week's Forzathon event uh, which wants you to use any modern supercar of your choice to complete all of this week's challenges. Now you must pick very carefully when picking your supercar and I will tell you why in a minute um, but when you go into your garage you can obviously filter them just to show modern supercars uh, to see what you've got. Now there is a good choice but you need to make sure that your supercar can hit over 265 mile an hour. So whichever one you want to use, make sure you tune it and bear in mind not all of them will go above that speed. Uh, so a couple of Lamborghinis will, uh, but the main one that I used was the Ascari KZ1R because that will max out at 270 mile an hour. So I've created a tune for you guys to use called 270 MPH tune, um, which took me a while to, to sort of accomplish that. Uh, I tried with various cars, but this is the one that I chose. Uh, and of course there was a share code as well if you want to just jump straight straight to the tune uh, like I said you will need to make sure your car can go over 265 mile an hour later but the first challenge here just wants you to win three street scene events now I always go for the bathroom gate one at the very bottom but of course there's plenty to choose from uh, and the best thing about this is you can do it on whatever difficulty you want because this isn't a festival playlist event, you don't have to have the driver tars set onto highly skilled. Uh, you can have this on easy or expert. Uh, whatever you want, you can have it set to. Uh, and the good thing about this Ascari um, is the, especially the tune. Even though you think it's probably just built for straight line speed at 270 mile an hour, it's actually still a pretty solid tune for racing with. It can take corners pretty well. The braking's quite sharp. Uh, so it's actually not a bad car. Now, the next one wants you to rack up a total of 15 stars from speed zones. So obviously you filter your map just to show the speed zones. Uh, and then the one I recommend using as per usual is Forest Green. So three stars on there is only 90 mile an hour, which is incredibly easy pretty much using whatever car you want uh, most of the time but of course specifically on this one you need to be in modern supercars now all you have to do is get three stars on five runs using this speed zone and like i said because 90 mile an hour is the target for three stars it's very very easy and it's actually quite a quick speed zone as well it's very straightforward um, so it should really only take about two to three minutes to complete all five runs uh, and get three stars on all of them like I said, it's not too difficult. Um, you know, 90 mile an hour is a very, very easy target on this one. I don't know why it's um, so low, but we won't complain in case turn 10 change that. So please don't don't change that because this is a really good speed zone. Um, so we will just use this one. Um, as you saw there, just five runs. Obviously, I only showed you three, but anyway. Now, the last challenge here wants you to earn three stars at the M68 speed trap. Now, this is why I told you to pick wisely with your modern supercar, uh, as only a very few will go over 265 mile an hour, which is the three star target on this speed trap. Um, so, like I said, using the Ascari uh, KZ1R is definitely a good one, or a Lamborghini Merchilago, um, whichever you want. But there's a couple out there. Uh, so anyway, you want to start sort of fairly far back to get a decent long run up to it. Uh, and in a minute, there's obviously a little bend. Now, it doesn't look like such a sharp bend, but when you're going over 230 mile an hour, it is. So you have to make sure you take this carefully. If you go flat out, you go straight off the motorway and into the fields. So you want to take it sort of a little slower, as you can see there. Don't brake, just come off the throttle, uh, and you'll still be leaving there at about 230 odd mile an hour. Uh, and then you just put your foot down again and you keep going. Just remember as well, if you do hit a car, it's not over. You've always got the rewind feature. Um, if you still have that going and there you can see it's basically 269 mile an hour uh, which is about four mile an hour over the target there so like i said make sure you're careful whichever car you choose um, you will need to tune them and make sure it goes over 265 mile an hour so i tried tuning various ones like the nissan gtr um, the porsche 911 as well and they maxed out at about 240 to 255 which obviously isn't very good. Um, same as the Aventador, for example. Um, so when I tried the Ascari KZ1R, uh, originally it was about 265, and then I tinkered with it and tuned it and got it to 270.1 mile an hour as a sort of max speed. Uh, and it's actually, like I said, a really easy car to use. Um, but anyway, guys, I hope you found this useful and I hope it helped you out. If you have any questions, please just say so down below. Um, but apart from that, guys, a massive thank you. All the best and take care.